Hey guys, today we get to talk about more leaks, but I feel like these leaks are self-inflicted. This was on the Wizard of the Coast's website. It is for the new X-Line set. Now it is currently down, so the link no longer works and it takes you to a you do not have access page, but we get to see some new cards. We get to see some new sets and it's pretty cool. I think it's a, a good set and it's very, they the packaging, they always do a fantastic job with the packaging. We get to see some promos, some tokens, some league stuff. The box art, pretty much their entire release schedule or their release, what they're giving stores. So here we go. We have the boxes. They look pretty good. And we have, oh, also incredibly, I think goblins are back. Merfolks are definitely in the set. We already know that. Some of the premier artwork that will be sent to local game stores. I think these are pretty cool. If your local game store is really nice, they will give you these because they get so much promotional material that at the end of the night, they just raffle away. At least my local game store just raffles it away because it's cool. It's cool to have a piece of magic history uh, associated with your pre-release. I'm not sure what those boxes are. I, they look a little too elaborate to be the pre-release kits, but maybe they are. <laughs> ninjas and not ninjas, uh, dinosaurs and pirates. It's still kind of funny that those are the two uh, themes that we are going into. As you can see from the artwork, looks like a great set. looks like a very unique set. Should be fun to play with. I do like the boxes and looks they, they are giving you deck boxes as well that you can build, which has always been something I felt like hmm, they could do it very cheaply. Uh, Bushy Road, such as Cardfight Vanguard or Yu-Gi-Oh, all the other players in this game to make trading cards, they give you deck boxes that you can build made from really cheap plastic, but I enjoy them because they're associated with your pre-release event. So here we have the five trial decks or the event guide and a promo. The promo essentially says destroy target non merfolk. It's a very good piece of removal. I believe Gideon, Jace, Lily, Chandra, and Nissa will be the introduction decks and those land that you see in the background will be the promotional land. Again, I could be wrong, but there's a lot of content to go over. The promo is actually quite good. I'm going to pull, I'm pretty sure it is destroy target non merfolk creature. And it's like walk the plank or something, something kind of ridiculous like that. We're going to see a better image of it soon. So it is walk the plank, double black, destroy target non merfolk creature. It is a sorcery and it's an uncommon. Very interesting art style. It has been said that these are not real because look how flat the foil is. Which is kind of hilarious, but it is true. Unless they change how they're doing foils. So walk the plank. I like it. I wish it was kind of an instant, but it's a catch-all removal. Is it as good as Fatal Puss? No, but the artwork is quite unique. And against most decks, it's just going to destroy. It's just going to be a terminate. But terminate is instant speed, right? So it is not quite a terminate powerful. Next, we have Bishop of Rebirth, which is a rare free double white uh, vigilance. Whenever Bishop attacks, you may return target creature card from your with converted mana cost free or less, I believe, from your graveyard to the battlefield. It is a free four. It's interesting, the full art is uncommon and the rare is not full art. So they have done a different Maybe this is the release one. As you can see, there's a little spin wheel. The What's it called? Like a ship's wheel. Does it have a name on it? Does, is there a specific name for a wheel on a ship? Or is it just called a ship wheel? Huh. Anyway, so on to the right, we see, well, first of all, let's talk about the uh, something territory. I cannot read it. It is a land. It is also a promo. And it's uncommon. Add one generic. I read that. Add one, I assume, of any type. I assume it comes in play tapped. People are comparing this to Cavern of Souls, and it's not as good. 
but it is an uncommon, so it should see play in EDH. But what I like is the deck boxes. These are very cheap. I, I don't know why no, they haven't done this before. You build your own deck box. It costs like almost no money to print it out. Every other card game I've ever played has these, and they give them out readily, and then you can make really beautiful decks with them. And they're league decks, they're the league boxes, and they're unique to that certain event, at that certain period in time. I always felt like, oh, okay, this is very cheap. It probably cost them 10 cents to print it. And it's just nice to take your cards that you got that day uh, and not have to carry them. I am a big proponent of drafting without sleeves now. It's just fun. And most times I don't care. And there's no real value cards that you would be playing anyway. So I would say, okay, cool. Anyway, this is what I'm most excited about. Seems kind of dorky, but actually it makes a big difference because I like to collect and accumulate tons of these. I'm not sure why, but anyway, we get to look at the flip tokens. We have uh, a dinosaur flip, which becomes a treasure. I'm not able to make out what these are. We have a pirate flip, which becomes a treasure. Do all of them become treasures? Is that what I'm reading? Anyway, well, regardless of what it is, it's quite interesting, and I'm trying to expand the picture now. Are they in foil or not foil? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, you have a dinosaur, you have some type of knight, and then you have a pirate. And there's all different types of treasures that they can be accumulating. Oh, so everyone's fighting for a treasure. All right, we see a better picture of unclaimed territory. As unclaimed territory enters the battlefield, choose a creature type, just like Cavern Souls, add one colorless. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to play creatures of that type. Okay, so it is Cavern of Souls minus the counter ability, which is not bad. Do you know how much Cavern of Souls is? A lot of money. This is a cheaper... So, like, people always think, oh, they can't reprint. They can't reprint. They can just do something like this. Like, it's a little less powerful, but it's about the same in creature decks. Creature decks will like it. I think Adrazi will really like this card. Um, it, it does, oh, it does not enter to play tap. That's a huge, that's hugely important here. Uh, next, we have Burning Sun's Avatar, free triple red. 6-6, six, six, whenever it enters the battlefield, it deals damage to target creature. Each equal to something, something. Okay, someone read it up to one target. So how much damage is it dealing? It's dealing, oh, target opponent. It deals, enters battlefield, it deals free damage to target opponent and up to one target creature. So Infernal Titan, a lot of people are saying these cards are just weaker versions of very strong cards we've had in the past, which this reminds me of Infernal Titan, which is good. I mean, Infernal Titan was very, I mean, all the Titans were pretty good. And here we see the tokens again, uh, treasure yet. Yeah, so that is treasure in the back. We have something, we have a dinosaur, we have something else I cannot read maybe a soldier, and we have a pirate. And all of them are competing for treasure. How are these leaks like happening? Like, it's kind of interesting because I'm pretty sure this is self-inflicted that they posted on their website, they didn't expect anyone to find it, someone found it, then they took it off. But my, my understanding is why did they post it on the website in the first place? Like, when it, couldn't they naturally assume a magic player with no time would just find it? And that's what happened. I mean, unfortunately, none of these are very good speculation targets or they're not going to increase. So this is buy a box. The buy a box booster pack looks really fat. It looks like it has more, a lot of cards in it. And I like the green color, that's great. Uh, it's, very, it's all very exciting that we get to see this beforehand. And you might say, oh, well, was it a leak? Was it not? I sometimes think that they intentionally leak some stuff. Not this, of course, but in the cards that people say that they found in the booster pack, like a singleton card, that's pretty are on conspiracy especially, a set that's more fun. I, I have a gut feeling that they intentionally leak them. Obviously not their entire rare slash mythic sheet. That's probably not intentional, but something like this could be intentional to drive up. Oh, and here's the standard showdown packs. To drive up interest and hype it a little bit and also not blame it on them so it seems kind of organic but 
they should if they if it's truly leaking and they're not meaning this to leak they really need better quality control anyway that is it bye guys